I'm going to show you why this entry level budget Synology NAS is better and more functional than the mini PC that I've been using to run Home Assistant, Plex, Jellyfin. I'm going to show you why the NAS is better. I've been using this mini PC for about six months now and it's great. It's powerful, 16 gig of RAM, i5 processor in it and it does exactly what I want it to do. But now I've got my hands on this entry level NAS DS220 Plus. This does exactly what the mini PC can do nowhere near as powerful in specs wise but it can actually do more for me and probably a lot of people out there this is all you need over something like PC now this NAS what I have is just over five years old so specs wise it's nothing great Celeron processor it only has two gig of RAM which is no good for any Plex, Jellyfin, even Home Assistant it says on here it can be upgraded with 4 gig to make 6 gig. We're going to show you what I've actually done to this one. But with it being the plus model and that Celeron processor, that's what counts in this bit. The mini PC is an HP ProDesk 600G3 mini. It's got a i5. 7600T. It's currently got an SSD and a 1 terabyte SSD under there. Gives us two drives and then it also has under the fan it has 16 gig of RAM which is massive overkill for this. So the specs on this little mini PC is well over what I'm actually using it for. It can do so much more. But why I think the NAS is better is the drives. Like on this, it's a two beer drive. It's got two four terabyte Iron Wolf drives in. So that's making eight terabytes of storage could be used here. All on my own network. Now I can't get that off my mini PC to hold eight terabyte drives in there. Also, it only comes with two gig of RAM. So after doing some research, you can actually add an eight gig of RAM stick. So now it's running 10 gigs of RAM and that's Great for media, plex, jellyfin. On my mini PC, what I'm actually using for the operating system is Proxmox, which if you've never used it, you've got to have a little bit of a learning curve. If you come from say Windows where it's quite easy just to install anything you want. This one's a little bit of a learning. Don't get me wrong, it is great, but for what I'm using it for, it's Jellyfin. I've used Plex on it, but I do prefer Jellyfin and Home Assistant. But to set up Jellyfin so we could see me one terabyte of media, that was what the problem was. I had to install Open Media Vault to discover me hard drive. Then I had to use that for Jellyfin to see it. And it's just, I think Proxmox can do so much more and a lot of people are using it for great setups using the Docker and virtual machines, different operating systems running on it. And I wasn't using it for that, so it's just wasted for what I'm using it for, for what potential it has. So I needed something that could do this and it was a bit easier. So now I'm using Synology NAS, that operating system is a lot easier to use than Proxmox. 
installing Jellyfin, Home Assistant, I can still do uh, virtual machines and Docker, but it's easy, it picks up my media, and also with the NAS, I also have the storage. So this is the Synology NAS. And this is my resources, everything's running, it's light. And I have the 10 gig now, because when you buy it, it only has two. I had eight gig and everything's running on one virtual machine, which is Home Assistant. And I have Jellyfin running on here. There's loads you can download and install. You can see on here, and there's also, there's your virtual machine. And there's also a community, very much like what Proxmox has and you have all these apps. Now I don't even know what 90% of this is I don't use. I say only touching the surface with it, Jellyfin, Plex is on here. Easy to install and easy to run. This is what I have installed on mine. Nothing much, I can install more, but it's what I use it for. I have a virtual machine just one running and that is for Home Assistant and memory usage and CPU usage still more to play with so there is so much if I want to do more but I like to say I don't use it for anything else it's the storage which is the key bonus for this now if you were to purchase one you have to be careful what you're buying because it depends what you want to use it for. If you just want it for storage, anything with the G after the title or the model number, that's for storage really. Anything with a plus on means you can use it for storage, but it's the CPU that is what is used if you want to use Plexed or Jellyfin for home media, 4K footage, you go for the plus. It's a bit more expensive but if you just wanted a network in your house where you can get your storage on you can go for the G. Now the price wise it is price but a lot of these they're coming with the hard drives. If you like this video please like subscribe. Thank you very much for watching though.